Next.js will intentionally throw errors every single time you call the redirect or not found functions. Let's say you have a typical Next.js app that allows a user to submit a form like this to create some sort of entity in a database. And let's say you set up a user action to be able to handle this post request. So I'll export an async function here, create thing. It doesn't matter what the thing is, but we'll accept some form data here. And my page is sending contents. So we could just grab the contents from the form data, get contents, and then I'll log this out. And then let's take this function and import it into the page, create thing from actions, and then have the form use this action. So submitting the form should create a new thing in the database. So we'll just pretend that this posts to the database and you probably have some sort of user auth here. So check the user is logged in. And the final thing you might wanna do is redirect the user to a page where they can see the thing that they've created. So it'd be pretty common to create a new dynamic route for the ID of this entity and create a new page in there where I'll export default function page. And because this is a dynamic route, we're gonna accept params in here, just return a basic page. And we can just test this out right now by redirecting the user to slash fake ID maybe. And this will come from the next navigation. If we test this out right now, I should be able to submit anything in here. There we go, it redirected to fake ID and we're grabbing that ID from the URL and rendering this page with it. So this is a typical scenario where I'd wanna redirect in a server action. And if we go back to the server action, we can see that the console log is grayed out like it's not gonna be called. And if I check the console, it wasn't actually called when I just did all of that. And that's because this redirect is actually throwing an error. Next wants to take over control when we call the redirect function so that it can change which page we currently see. And the way they've implemented that is by having this function throw an error. And this is in the Next.js docs, it's briefly mentioned that it throws an error but it isn't really emphasized at all. And I think it should be, but I'll show you why in a moment. First, we can actually go to the source code in GitHub and see how this is throwing an error because it's a little bit interesting to see how we might recreate this. So this is the code that actually creates the error for us. So if I didn't wanna call the redirect function, I could just create my own error. I'm gonna get rid of this. The error code is next redirect. And then we can hard code the rest of this as replace the URL we wanna actually redirect to. So in this case, fake ID and then false. So I'll create a new error object, modify that object. And then if I just throw this error right here, this is mimicking exactly what redirect does. So I can redirect in next by manually throwing this error. And I'll prove this works by going back to the home page and submitting this form and it redirects just like it did before. Now, the reason I think this should be acknowledged a little bit more is because if we go back to the code as it was before, I've seen a few times people accidentally catching this error. So you can imagine you're checking your users logged in and you're running some asynchronous code to post to a database. You might just throw all of this into a big try catch block where you try to do everything and then you handle all of the errors in one place. Maybe return some sort of error message. And at first glance, this seems kind of okay. Your happy path is in the try block. You do all the things that you hope will work, including the redirect if everything is successful. And then if there are any errors, you handle the error case. But if we do this now and go back to the home page, if I hit submit, it won't redirect. And if I check the terminal, I have an error thrown and you have all of this dump from catching an error. And it just says error next redirect. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that no one ever reads. And it can be kind of confusing to understand what went wrong because sure, there's probably something wrong with the redirect, but it isn't completely obvious that putting this inside of the try block is the cause of all of these issues. And maybe you're thinking it would be easy enough to just have the redirect outside of the blocks and always remember to do that. But another thing I've seen people do is carelessly refactor their code. So instead of putting a bunch of SQL insert statements directly into this function, they might refactor this into a different function, maybe async insert to database 
function. So if you do that code in here, you might also just wanna do the redirect code in here as well. So we might end up putting this redirect function in this function. And maybe this function exists in a different file and you don't even see the redirect in there. And your code grows and it gets a little bit messier and you don't remember where the redirect is being called, but everything seems to be working until you try to make your code better by actually handling the errors. And then all of a sudden everything starts breaking and it can be difficult to understand exactly why. Because remember, Next.js is a very accessible library. A careless refactor like this doesn't seem to be that uncommon. So we gotta make sure we take the redirect out, put this at the bottom here, and acknowledge that the flow is always gonna be a little bit weird when we're using try catch and throwing exceptions. Because we get happy path, then sad path, then also happy path again. But that's fine, this should work. Now if I hit submit, it will redirect me to that other page. And in this page, I probably want to take this ID that's being passed in and just make sure that it actually exists in the database. And if it doesn't exist in the database, we want to notify the user that they're trying to access something that can't be found. So I'd have an if statement in here, if params.id equals, and I'm just going to say uh, one in this case, just to simulate an ID that won't be found. So if we pass in one, I want to tell the user that this is not found. And next has a function called not found that you can import from next navigation and we can just call this right in here and we don't need to return or do anything special because this is another function in next that will just throw an error to take over the execution of this and this is a nice function if I just have a not found file in the scope I can export a default function here, return some JSX. And now just by calling this not found function, the user will automatically end up on my not found page. So let's try this. Let's put in the ID one and see if this works. So that's a nice feature to have. But again, if I am trying to handle errors in this page with a try catch block and I accidentally catch this error, then this isn't going to work as expected and it can be confusing to debug. So obviously don't put these inside of your try block, but one other piece of advice I have is there's a library that I like to use called might fail. It was made by me. It's wildly unpopular, but it does mitigate some of the issues you run into with try catch. And this is generally what I end up using. So hopefully this helps you avoid running into any of those issues.